I'm curious, you have some of the highest level insight into my next question. One day, of course, this pandemic will end and mRNA vaccine technology, which has now exploded to the forefront of public awareness, is going to demonstrate its other exciting uses. Can you talk maybe about the future of mRNA technology now that it's been so broadly deployed and tested? Yeah, it is really an extraordinary breakthrough in vaccine platform technology. And we're already seeing investigators taking a look at the possibility of using that against HIV. A number of labs have already done preclinical studies and animal models of uh, seeing if we can get the kind of immune response that has eluded us thus far with HIV. Influenza also, I think, is going to be an important area where mRNA vaccines are gonna be used. It really is an extraordinary technique, highly adaptable. And when you get the right immunogen expressed, it, it induces an extraordinarily powerful immune response as we've seen with COVID-19, truly a major breakthrough. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, I know I didn't ask you to bring your crystal ball with you, but decades from now, when other experts look back at this pandemic, what do you think the biggest lessons learned will be? I mean, maybe it was something like the emergence of mRNA technology. I don't know. Well, you know, there are going to be scientific lessons learned and there are going to be public health lessons learned and some policy political lessons learned. You know, one of the things that I've always felt so um, uh, uh, strongly about in the sense of it being unfortunate that we've had this historic pandemic thrust upon us at a time when there was extraordinary divisiveness in the country, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where you were really having people making decisions about public health based on a political persuasion. That yeah. just doesn't work when it comes to global health and public health and domestic health, because the common enemy here is the virus. You know, if you looked at what's gone on over the last year, it's almost as if we're fighting with each other instead of fighting in a common way against the virus. Yeah, I'm not even sure I would say almost. I think we have been. I guess um, as a segue or another question, um, do you think that things would have been different if this had not occurred during an election year, basically? You know, I think there would have been some differences there because we had such a charged political atmosphere uh, that, you know, had people in a sense taking sides when they should all have been pulling together with regard to the public health recommendations. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, that's I think that's one of the challenges of public health right now. And of course, as everyone knows, if public health is successful, no one knows about it. So, you know, this is this is the, your time, your time to, to really help the world. Um, you know, you like everyone else has put so many parts of your life on hold because of the pandemic. On a personal side, what are you looking forward to doing once this is truly over? Well, I think it has to do with one of the questions you asked me a little bit ago. I mean, uh, it being able to be with my family together, you know, for I, I, it's been a, it's been a surrealistic year. I mean, ever since late January 2020, I have not had a single day off since then. I, I would like to be able to reconnect with the world as I know it and probably appreciate things that I didn't notice before because I didn't really uh, fully realize how much you depend on them for your daily happiness and existence. That's what I'd like to do, particularly with my family. That, well, and I think that's probably what just about all of the world is looking forward to in many ways. Just one final question on vaccine hesitancy. Of course, it's a widespread concern. And frankly, I know medical colleagues who haven't been vaccinated. What would you say to the hesitant, I guess, to reassure them or convince them of the importance of getting vaccinated? Well, it's a personal responsibility and it's a societal responsibility. I mean, we have a, a pandemic that has killed 550,000 people in the United States. You can't run away from those data. This is a serious disease. And, and people who think that because they're young and because they're healthy, they're exempt, that's not the case. We're seeing more and more young people getting seriously ill. And we all know that the vulnerability of the elderly and those with underlying conditions it's a highly efficacious and safe vaccine. We can put this pandemic behind us if we all pull together and get vaccinated. So the data are strongly in favor of getting vaccinated. Well, Dr. Fauci, this has been an absolute honor. I genuinely want to thank you for all of your work to get the nation through this difficult time. And personally, I want to thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.